Hello everyone. Thanks for joining me on Sean Petit's channel today. This is Lisa and I'm a creative team member. I'm super happy to be here and on such a special day. Merry Christmas. I'm hoping you like the piece that I create today and let's say it is my present to you. So Merry Christmas to all. This is going to be a winter piece with lots of birds and a birdhouse. And of course, I'm going to use lots of Sean's stencils. I'm hoping I can fit them all in, but I'm afraid I probably won't get them all on this piece. Let's see how it works. I'm working on a 9x12 MDF board, and I wanted to put a birdhouse in the project. It was snowing today as I was working on this and I was looking towards the new year. I wanted to add that calendar page onto the background, but the back of the calendar page was too neat, so I needed to keep that for inspiration. I'm going to put down my journal pages that I absolutely love and I use lots and I'm putting it down with, of course, my matte medium and a brush. I have some other papers that I found. This is lots of math pro problems. Someone had given me this sheet and I absolutely loved what it was representing. It was representing to me um, looking towards the new year, working out any problems I'm going to be facing for my business and hoping that the numbers add up so I can so I can continue to do what I love and make ends meet. So lots of papers here and lots of meaning in this piece. I wanted the birds to represent family and the birdhouse as home and it was just how I was feeling. So here are some little pieces of papers that were in my stash and I wanted just to add them into the background. It represented the different conversations and different things that were going on it, during the Christmas time. I really thought that it was fun and the background had a bit of meaning to me this time. So let's continue on and hope this piece turns out well. Here's some papers from my stash and they were just some green papers that I loved. It was printed on tissue paper, so I thought I'll add them to the back and see if I can get that paper to pop through. Again, some more papers, um, tissue paper that I had in my stash. I was liking going through my little um, basket of goodies and see what I could come up with. Now this birdhouse, I just drew on some uh, typewriter paper or copy paper and I did my best. I'm not a super wonderful drawer, but it was a birdhouse. Shouldn't be too difficult. Here are two die cuts that I had in my stash, a snowflake and a bird. So I thought I'd put that down. And I was thinking I'd use these strips of paper, but I actually took them off. I was wanting it to um, maybe use it on the birdhouse. Here's a wonderful sun that I was missing today because it was gloomy and snowy, but I thought I'd put it in my piece. I'm going to cover the background here with gesso and get some good texture going and not covering everything up, letting those papers peek through and combining it all. Uh, it's a nice technique. And of course, we're gonna wipe back some of the things that I wanted to show through with my clean, damp towel. Have a good dry here, and we're going to use some of Sean's wonderful stencils. I'll list them all below, 
but the one I'm using right now is called mini doodles and I use this one a lot you can see it's well loved with lots of colors on there Just using my makeup sponge and some acrylic paint and putting some different colors on that background, adding some more interest. Here's another stencil from Sean, and I use this one a lot. I'm just using my finger and some gesso, and this stencil is called Lace. Like I said, I use it a lot. There's lots of different techniques you can do with this one. So I'm really liking it, and I was using my finger just to push that gesso through and add some nice texture to the background. Here I thought I would cut that birdhouse out of some wallpaper and I cut it out and I found this little ruler scrap in my stash so I thought I'd use that as the roof of the birdhouse. So I'm going back to my dried background here and I'm using some glazing medium and my favorite color of acrylic paint and it is called Ocean Blue and I'm combining the glazing medium and the paint together to push those uh, stenciled areas into the background and wiping it back with my towel and giving it a blue background. I felt like it needed some more blue because that yellow was really popping through so I used some cerulean blue and that is a deco art paint. So making sure I give it a dry before I put that darker blue on there. I thought maybe I could make it move with some water but it wasn't uh, moving quite enough for me so I put some water on my brush and more paint and trying to get the background to be a little darker blue for the sky that's going to go behind the birdhouse and the birds. I thought maybe that that yellow was still coming through and I needed to add another little bit of texture another layer on this piece and so I'm just using some antique white paint and my brayer and giving it just another layer of yumminess on the background. Then I think that should do it. It was looking good now. And I'm trying to figure out where my placement's going to be. I wanted to put that birdhouse in there and I thought well there's some yellow there on the back. I still wanted to cover that up a little bit, push it to the background, and so I decided where the birdhouse was going to go. Now I have these three circles that were in my stash box, I call it, and they just were calling to me. Just some different uh, design on the background, and I just wanted to put them on the piece. So here they are. I'm using some dark brown paint and I'm going to paint in a tree branch for my uh, birdhouse. I know birdhouses usually hang from a branch, but I wanted to nestle this birdhouse right in on top of the branch. So I'm just doing my best to 
painting a branch it's pretty easy it's just some sticks and use brown paint so um, bear with me we're going to use some leaves that I have in my stash also so if the ends aren't perfect it'll be fine it's going to be covered up and I thought that I wanted a little branch coming down from the top left corner because we're going to have quite a few birds on this piece. I'm having a wonderful cup of tea while it's snowing out and the tea that I love to drink is David's tea and I get it online and the one I'm having right now is chocolate covered almond. It is absolutely amazing. I'll leave the link below in case you're interested. So what I did here with these leaves that I had in my stash box is I cut them apart and trimmed them down and I covered them with some of the brown paint. And now I'm putting my elements all in on the background, adhering that uh, birdhouse with my matte medium. And I'm gonna put down those uh, little ruler bits as a roof on my birdhouse and the numbers on the ruler just symbolized maybe measuring of time that the new year is starting and just be patient with myself and things will happen if you work hard and you stay focused i want to continue to create my art and teach my classes and meet people and enjoy what I'm doing and still making a living at it. So I'm hoping that this piece is really symbolizing that. Here's how I cut those leaves apart and now I put them down with my matte medium. And I also adhered the birds that I had in my stash. I just cut them out and I placed them all around the picture. Now with the branches, there were some small berries and I wasn't sure what color to make the berries because this is going to be in a winter scene. So I thought maybe just some yellowish, brownish berries and it gave good color to the piece, so I think that it worked. And I needed to kind of bring everything together. It seemed like it was just birdhouse, um, branch, and birds. So I wanted to bring it all together, and I'm doing that with my old trusty friend. And that is my burnt umber and water wash and my spray bottle. I think that this gives the piece a real wintry feel in the sky. It pulls the leaves and the branches and the birds together and it gives a nice antique-ish feel to the birdhouse. I think it's really coming together nicely now. Just adding a little bit more brown paint and I wanted it to fill in the, the little areas there of the snowflake. So I'm filling that in with my finger and yeah, I think it needed the brown. Everything is dry and I wanted to put those um, number stencil on there, but I really thought that there was a lot going on and I didn't want to add any more. I was kind of afraid to do so. So I grabbed out my charcoal pencil. I'm filling in some of those lines on the birdhouse and going around the edges, doing the shading and the shadow to bring the piece to life. This, of course, is my favorite part. I'm hoping everyone got some great supplies for Christmas presents and we'll be sharing all of the fun stuff that we got this new year. We are going to use a new, new product that I have had for a little bit 
It's called Bleed Proof White. And that's how I'm going to add my white splatters at the end here for the snow. And it does what it says. It is bleed proof so that the white, the white splatters are real nice and real bright. So now here I'm adding the word grateful to the piece. This is my sentiment. And you could see me pointing there by the ink pad. And I wrote out the word grateful. And I wanted to start in the middle of the word and work my way both left and right from the letter E so that it would feel more centered on the piece. This is just the way that I have to do it so that I don't have it all lopsided. And it works out great. I think that it fit perfect on that birdhouse and I am very grateful for being able to work on my art and teach my classes and be here with you on my YouTube channel. I'm hoping that the new year is great for everyone. I'm just going to finish up this piece here. I'm adding that black element around the edge and we're going to put down some little white details, definitely the eyes of the birds to make them pop, some highlights on those circle pieces and on the berries, and then we're going to add that white splatter for the snow. And then that completes my piece. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you again. Please join me on my channel, which will be linked at the end, and I have a video every Tuesday as well. Thank you, Sean, for letting me share my piece here with everyone today on your channel. And have everyone a Merry Christmas and a great, great New Year.